grew up on 10th Street, which is now a part of the Auraria campus. So my entire community is gone. The majority of that community was Mexican American. And now when you walk through the campus, there is a fountain on 9th Street, and that's where my uncle's home was. The place that is important to me is the Crusade for Justice, which was located on 16th and Downey. The uh, Crusade for Justice was a uh, four-story building. It was an old church, and it served its purpose of being the center of the Chicano movement. The building that it was in is uh, gone. It's been gone for, gee, I don't know, 15, 20 years. But the movement that the crusade started uh, is not gone, it's not over. Best memories on the north side of Koufax was um, just a lot of family, kind of like the, the movie Rent. We just play with each other, all different cultures. We didn't experience the racism like it is today. It was you were poor, you lived next to each other, you played with each other. You fought with each other and then you also backed each other up. It was, that was our life. And a place that in Denver that's important to my cultural history um, would be West Denver. Both of my parents were born and raised in West Denver and we actually met as teenagers in the Lincoln Projects. Our area campus, uh, very important because of the churches and the history that's connected to my family. I also graduated college there, which is really cool to be part of the Displaced Aurarian Scholarship. 9th Street on the Aurara campus is a very special place to me because that's where I grew up, where I used to play with 9th Streeters, we used to call ourselves. We went down the street to the playground at St. Cajetan's, or we had St. Elizabeth's to play in. St. Elizabeth was across the street from us. We'd go over there when school was out and play on the playground. Uh, as an adult, I went back to school and continued at Metro. I would always walk by the fountain on 9th Street. Fortunately, 9th Street is still standing and it's become a historical park for all of us who were displaced from that community in the 1970s to build a campus. And if it wasn't there, we wouldn't have a, a concept, a place, a feeling where we could go back to enjoy and enjoy each other's communities and remember all, all of our families. And so I've always had a really clear sense of who I am and the struggle of my parents and what they endured growing up in um, government housing. A lot of things uh, that have happened in Denver for Chicanos is because of the Crusade for Justice. So although the building is not here, that doesn't mean that uh, what the Crusade for Justice stood for, uh, social justice for Chicanos, uh, still exists. We've made some uh, definite uh, strides, but we still have a long way to go. In, in helping the Chicano and the Latino community reach its full potential. And so even though we're, it's not around, it is around. It's in the hearts of many people.